Well, welcome uh, to 100% LCFC. Obviously, looking ahead to the visit to Norwich uh, this weekend. Before we do that, though, quick reflection on Arsenal. Obviously, you know, first loss of the season. Disappointing, but some positives as well. Oh, yeah, John, absolutely. But um, I, I, I've sort of got to ask you a wee question first, if I may. Have you? Yeah, it's lovely and sunny outside and quite warm and stuff. And you've got a scarf on. It's a Leicester City scarf. I put it on special. Is it because you? Is it because you're cold? No, it's because I feel warm. You feel uh, when I think about Leicester, it makes me feel yeah, warm. Well, good answer, John Sinclair. Hey, he's nearly getting as funny as me. Arsenal. Well, what can we say, John? Um, some good performances. Um, highlights. Jamie's goal, well taken. Hit the post, hit the bar. Had they gone in, would it have been a wee bit different? But Arsenal were good. Arsenal were more than good. Arsenal were very good. I think, I think we've all got to accept that. But also, I suppose, if you look at the amount of chances both sides made, it was a, a wonderfully open game. And from that point of view, very entertaining. Obviously not the result we wanted, but you've got to say, it, yeah. it was a great game to watch. If you can, yeah. And, As uh, a neutral. Well, Phil Thompson on, on Sky Sports, he yeah. praised on both teams. And, um, and I think quite rightly so, yeah. But... We don't want to be getting beat 5-2 every week, no, John. I mean, no. that's, that's, that's important. It's important we put that to bed now. Learn the lessons. Mr Ranieri, I think he'll go back to the drawing board a wee bit, but not too much, um, for, uh, for the trip to Norwich on Saturday, which isn't going to be easy either, John. Now, you look at their last four results. They've uh, drawn two away games at West Ham and Liverpool yep. and uh, beaten a couple of sides, West Brom and Bournemouth, I think, at home. So, and they scored six goals at home in those two games as well. Well, Alex Neil, I like him. Um, very successful at Parry Thistle. And uh, if you listen to him talk, um, if you can understand him... <laughs> it like meant to be funny, it, John. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if you, if you, if you can, he's, he's, he's very direct. He doesn't muck about. He doesn't... And you can see him... He was that type of player when he played. Mm. No nonsense. Got him with the job. And he's doing a fine job there. He's got players buying into his philosophy. He's got players believing in the manager, which is, which is brilliant. I mean, I watched the, watched the highlights of the game against West Ham uh, on match of the day, and I thought Norwich were more than worth a draw. I thought they could have snuck it at the end. So what are we going to take? What are we going to take to carry Carroll Road? And by the way, have a great trip. It's not the best, is it? Um, what are we going to take there? Are we going to, is the manager going to change the side? Is he going to do something maybe a wee bit about the back four but I think he should I think I think we need to try and tighten that up a bit but um, it'll be a cracking game looking forward to it and um, I think we're perfectly capable of getting three points Sean now I know we brought this up before and uh, obviously people are looking at the back four given you know the goals they conceded at, at the weekend mm -hmm. and we've talked about the back you know the back three uh, playing the th the three five two system, whatever system you you want to call it, but I know you talk about systems not winning matches. But do you think that they even Ranieri would even consider doing that? I think there's I think there's definitely a case for it. Mm. Um, but he's got two centre halves sitting on the sidelines as well. You know, both internationals. Um, and why does he not play them? You know, the, the Italian lad and big Vasilevsky. They might you know. They might be a good combination, we don't know. Three at the back, well, he's got, he's got plenty to, to choose from there, Joe. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah. he could play Fuchs at, on the left-hand side of a three. Or he could play him further forward. What concerns me, though, is definitely two full-backs. I've said all along, Jeff Sloop is neither a striker nor a full-back. He's a little bit of both. So I think he's a he's wide more player. He's more a wing-back, He's perhaps. just a wide player. Yeah. Wide, wide in a four. Yeah. Um, wide in a five even, you know, as you talk about wing-backs. Richie Dela, I just think he's going through that kind of phase where nothing seems to be going right for him. And he did look very tired on Saturday towards the end of the game. So it might be... I mean, I don't talk about dropping players, John. I talk about resting them. Yeah. You know, come on, put your arm around the shoulder. Come on, son, let's have a walk around the track and we'll have a chat. You're looking a wee bit jaded and everything OK at home, that kind of thing, you know. Is it, have you anything on your mind? Because that happens and it's good management to do that. So I think Mr Ranieri, he'll have a look at things all through this week on the training pitch 
And whatever team he puts out on Saturday, we've got a hell of a squad and a hell of a lot of quality in there, so it wouldn't worry me what team that he put, put out against Norwich on Saturday. And you might you take the attitude that up until the Arsenal game, they've done very well, they've got 12 points on the board. You know, why change it at all? He might, he yeah. might say, well, I've got faith in you, go out there and, and do it again. Absolutely, but if you're not producing in the position that you're playing, you, 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 you accept that you're going to lose your place. Hmm. If you're not performing, then there's somebody on the sideline waiting for your place, and then it's up to him. I would like to see Dyer back. Uh, we don't know the situation with him, whether it's the head injury or it was a knee injury, but I would like him because he big impact when he came on as substitute. So um, we, we all have our we all have our favourites. We all have the team that we think should be picked. Um, what about you lot out there? Maybe you lot have a totally different opinion, and you would pick whoever you want. So it'd be nice to hear because. It's not just about us, John. You know, it's about all the fans. And yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. got their own favourites. That's, uh, that's the way football is. Well, absolutely. And uh, no matter what I say or John says, I mean, somebody if you're down the road or over the road, they're going to think differently. And that's fine because we need the supporters. And on Saturday, there's going to be thousands going across there, John. Yeah. I remember the last time I was there with mm, radio. And uh, it was a magnificent day out, absolutely magnificent day out. The supporters were unbelievable. And they were right opposite us, where we were sat, right opposite. And it was just, oh, it was fantastic, a lovely sunny day. And let's hope for more of the same. Indeed. I think after this week, uh, there's a bit of a gap, isn't there, to the, to the next game as well. So it'd be good to go into that break with a, a good result. It always is, John, isn't it? And yeah. I think it's that international break again, and I think we get Crystal Palace at home after that. We are a trip to Hull City as well in the League Cup. So yeah, plenty of games coming up. Um, all to look forward to. And um, I think a, a, a very good benchmark is going to be where we are end of December. Because I think we've got to go to Man City, Everton and Liverpool all in that month. Lovely. Bring it on, says I.